Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie Canada, just like that country, and no, I don't live there. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I guess not too terribly different, but I am going to be doing a quiz that got sent to me on Instagram because... BuzzFeed. Why not? What could go wrong? Everything. So I was sent this quiz by a lovely viewer that says, what kind of sewist are you? And by God, I know I'm a chaos gremlin. Floor troll, sewing disaster, movable tornado. You pick. I'm terribly sorry. But either way, that's what we're going to be doing today. And I was looking around on ye olde internet, and I did find a second one too that is not done by BuzzFeed. So we'll see if these two quizzes are actually in alignment or if BuzzFeed is just clickbait as usual. Let's head over to the computer and get started. What kind of sewist are you? The first option is you are printing your pattern and the first thing you do is you, you print your patterns, but okay. Uh, check the one inch square, assemble the pages. Sorry I ran out of paper halfway through or leave it on the printer, I'll get to it later. Um, because I've actually done this, sorry I ran out of paper. It, yeah, I literally did that like three times trying to print off the one that I did. The seam allowance on the pattern is one quarter inch. Do you use exactly one quarter inch because that's what's called for. Use a hem ruler to increase the seam allowance to three quarter inch and mark one eighth inch outside the pattern with chalk. Well, I think we all know the answer to that one. Uh, one quarter inch, more or less, I'll eyeball it. Eh, whatever. I, I, I pretty much eyeball it. That's, that's pretty close, actually. It curves a little bit out of the way. It's fine. You're ready to cut the fabric. You wing it. Use my hand and a rotary cutter. That sounds like a bad combo. Use pattern weights and shears slash rotary cutter. Pin the pieces to the fabric, go around with Taylor's chalk, and use shears for precise cuts. Come on now. We know this. I think the closest I'll be is probably use pattern weights. That's, that's about as close as I'm gonna get. While assembling the pattern, you notice that you sewed the solid fabric the wrong side out. Do you? Leave it. No one will notice. Uh, I did? Rip the seams and replace it, and... That would never happen. <laughs> no, I'm also too much of a perfectionist. I have to rip it out and start over again. I just, I can't just leave it. The pattern calls for setting an invisible zipper. <laughs> then I'm not making it. <laughs> that feels correct. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll get up on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, no problem, or I set five zippers in a day and I can do this in my sleep. Then I'm not making it, is the answer. Because no, absolutely not. Uh, you have decided to make yourself a little special something. Do you have my measurements on hand so I can pick the right size? I wear a size eight in ready to wear, so I guess I'll make a size eight. Oh, that hurt me to the bottom of my soul. I measure myself every time because I know measurements can fluctuate. I think I will be between an 8 and a 12, and I like... Uh, wait, what? I think I will grade between an 8 and a 12. I like a little more room when it helps. In in the hips? In the hips, that's what that says. <sighs> I am torn between ready-to-wear measurements and what, measuring myself every time. I think I measure myself pretty close to every time. I do believe. What is your favorite thing to sew? Plain pants? Three seams and done? Absolutely not. No. Anything with color blocking to bust those... That says scraps, not straps. That's where my brain is. A little bit of everything sometimes in the mood for fancy, other times simpler. Eh. I love a challenge and I love pushing myself. This is sort of hard because I, I mean, I don't want to bust the scraps. I really don't care. Um, I do have a scrap busting project that I keep meaning to do and I have put off for the better part of two years. Will I do it anytime soon? Your best guess is as good as mine. But I think, I mean, I do like a challenge. I'll just go a little bit of everything because that feels the best answer there. When you look around your sewing area, you... <laughs> do we know the answer to this before this happens? I think we do. <laughs> Admire how everything looks and your personal touches of disaster. Can't see the table. That scans. Have a couple of things to put away, but overall pretty neat. Uh, eh, some piles, some unfinished stuff, but still space to work. Um, we all know this answer. I haven't seen my table unless I physically clean it off before every single project. Not after, before. 
You notice that an attached seam is going to the left on top and to the right on bottom. If I don't know what that means, I have a feeling this isn't going to be good. <laughs> Make a note to be more careful in the future. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> Rip out, start over, ignore it, no one will notice. Um, I, I'm just going to go, is that wrong? Because I, I don't honestly know fully what that's actually saying. You look at your finished garments and notice that the pattern has been sewn <gasps> upside down. You incorporate a design element to minimize the impact. Fabric patterns have directions? No, I do I do know that because I use enough vintage fabric. You can tell. Take apart the garment and cut a new piece and start again. Give it to your kid or a friend and start again. <laughs> <sighs> if I'm looking at the Miss Frizzle dress where I actively cut two of the pieces going absolutely different directions than the rest, I'm going to go with incorporate a design element to minimize the impact because I had no fabric left. I think if I would have had fabric, I would have changed it, but I didn't have any fabric left. So there's that. You have run out of the right colored thread. Say it ain't so. Rip out the seam and substitute a different matching color. A uh, thread comes in colors other than black and white. Use the next closest thread and continue and run out and find matching thread. Okay, they didn't specify if your internal seaming or top stitching because that is a big freaking difference. So I'm gonna go with this as an internal seam and then I just go the next closest thread and I keep going. Stares at the project that I literally put yellow thread on top of an orange trim. Like I said, I'm not perfect. It's, it is what it is. Your project is finished, hooray! Uh, time to iron the whole thing. Scrutinize every seam and every facet to make sure it's perfect before declaring it done. Oops, phew! And check to make sure it fits. We all know the answer to that one because I don't always check things beforehand. And the answer is, drumroll please, Sincere Sewist. Really? You approach sewing with a light heart and good intentions. You make everything with love, but sometimes you forget or maybe skip a step. Maybe you forgot to leave room for turning a line project and you have to rip out a few stitches, but that's no big deal. Your models, young and old, never find faults in your project uh, incorrect, and no one would think to look for them. You take pride in your work and space and keep it uncluttered. What answers did I give them to make them think that my sewing room is uncluttered? <laughs> Absolutely not. Sewing is a labor of love, and paying attention to details that doesn't even go the way is your hallmark. Well, BuzzFeed, personally, while I appreciate the compliment, I think you're a little off the mark there, Johnny. So, let's see if seam work says the same thing. Next quiz, doo -doo -doo -doo. So this is on seamwork.com slash quiz. I'll put it down below in case you also want to go through the endeavor yourself, which you absolutely should because these are hilarious. I'll put them both down below if you want to do them. All right, let's go. Uh, let's start by talking about your overall experience level with sewing, if any. How, how would you describe your current sewing skill? I don't know how to sew, but I'm interested. I'm a beginner, advanced beginner, intermediate, advanced intermediate, and advanced. Well, I feel like I'm gonna go advanced beginner because, well, intermediate, no, advanced beginner. We're gonna go advanced beginner because I still don't feel like I have a good grasp on how I'm actually supposed to do things. I just sort of wing it. Great, sounds like you have some skills and experience. Now we'd love to talk a bit about, about your personality and preferences. Cool. Love that. Uh, what do you love about sewing? I love learning new things, making time for myself, expressing myself creatively, possibility of fitting my body would give me pride and confidence, getting to play with the fabric, connecting with other creative people, and saving money. Uh, if you think that you are going to save money while sewing, I really hate to tell you, you're probably not. Because your time is also money, but that's neither here nor there. I love expressing myself creatively because it doesn't always come out the way I want. Can I do more than one? Oh, yes it does. Okay, uh, then we will also go with possibility of fitting my body because I like vintage things and I can't always find the vintage things because they've been worn into the ground because survival bias is a real thing. So there we go, we'll go with those two. Boop. Which of these best describes the way that you learn best? I like to do a lot of research and make sure I understand all the aspects before diving in. <laughs> nope. I like to dive into projects with little to no prep and see what happens and I'm a mix. I learn hands on and research as I go. I'll go with the last one because I do actually research occasionally things on YouTube, especially hand sewn buttonholes because that was a disaster. What kind of projects do you prefer? I like to set big goals for myself like making jeans or a tailored coat. Oh, heck no. 
I like mainly quick and satisfying projects that I can wear soon. I just know the answer. That is the right one. Uh, the last one is I like big projects along with, you know, with other things. Thrown in. No, no, I like quick and satisfying, baby. Quick and satisfying is my bread and butter. Which of these describes you or who you aspire to be? I'm a planner. I like to map out my projects highly in an intentional way. <laughs> nope. I'm spontaneous. I make things as the mood inspires and strikes. I'm making this video after getting this quiz sent to me approximately two hours ago. I'm flexible. I like to plan out some projects, but leave time for sudden impulses. No, I'm completely spontaneous. I try and make plans, and then I basically blow most of them off or delay them. For those of you that have done collabs with me, I'm sorry. Uh, almost done! Which of these is your biggest challenge when it comes to sewing? Fit, building skills, understanding fabrics, creating a wardrobe, or time and organization? Uh, that's actually kind of hard, because I am not 100% sure if it's more fit or understanding the fabric that I keep messing up. I think I understand the fabrics, but I don't always make the smartest choices because I don't want to deal with the slippy, icky, I, it's not icky, but like the slippery fabric, the slippy boys, uh, cause I don't want to deal with that again. That was a pain when I did the rayon. So I'm going to go with probably fit, I think. Wait, can I choose both? No, I cannot. Yes, we're going with fit. Continue, almost done. Where do I want to sign my, send my results? I'm not going to put this slide in, but okay. A few moments later. And now it's time for drum roll number two, the results. Intentional fitter. Again, I, these quizzes I feel like are giving me more than I give myself. Is that my problem? Is that their problem? I don't know. About the intentional fitter. Your priority is creating clothing that fits your body and your personality, not the other way around. You care about the quality and fit of your clothing, and that is a big part of why you choose to sew. You are a natural problem solver. You like to pinpoint specific areas that you want to address and learn about. You may have a big goal in mind, like making a really great fitting pair of pants. Uh, again, vaguely incorrect. But hey, I appreciate them giving me more credit than I give myself. I hope you enjoyed this little trail off today. And hey, if you want to take any of these quizzes, I will go ahead and link them on down below. YouTube thinks that this is the video that you'll like next, and I think you'll like this one. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye. But seriously, I was sent this quiz called... I just disappeared. That's not helpful. Ow. I <laughs> hit my boob. <laughs> I am not recording my screen. That's not going to help. Great. Record that. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly.